one other item out there in the news today. You, you came out today to say that uh, you'll be opposing Ben Bernanke for reconfirmation at the Federal Reserve. Uh, Democrats are signaling that they think they have the votes. They've got the 60 votes. Uh, do you think that's the case? I think it's a fluid, uh, fluid thing. I, I know there are some Democrats who've announced they're opposed to the nomination. Certainly the uh, vote in the banking committee was a divided uh, vote. I think uh, people are still digesting what they've been told uh, by the voters in Massachusetts and how that uh, taps into the national mood and their own prospects in 2010. I think what uh, the voters have told us this week is, is they don't want the same old thing. They want, uh, a, they want a fresh start. They want people who will listen. And uh, for a long time, I think the Federal Reserve under Chairman Bernanke, while it's, he has done a lot and it has done a lot to mitigate some of the crisis that we've had, I grant them that. Uh, they certainly contributed to the crisis by the easy credit and the housing bubble that's uh, helped precipitate uh, this recession. And it's, they've not been transparent in terms of how they're spending the taxpayer dollars, either through the TARP program or the, the, the Fed's discount window. And I think, uh, uh, with all due respect to Mr. Bernanke, that uh, the public is going to want to see a fresh start. I think that would be the best, in the best interest of the Fed and, uh, frankly, the, this administration. But he's a guy who was appointed by your friend George W. Bush. Uh, so what is it about him that you don't like? And if not him, who else would replace as the Fed chair? Great question. Uh, who's next if uh, not Ben Bernanke? It's up to the president. And uh, we're going to take it one step at a time. I don't know who that would be. I hope it would be someone who would not be a political figure, somebody who would be committed to transparency and accountability. Uh, for the Federal Reserve so that the taxpayer can see how their money is being spent and be assured it's, there's no winners and losers being picked based on political uh, uh, inclinations or the like. Um, you know, I think uh, there, as in every public uh, uh, official, there's good things and bad things. Um, he's, as I said, I grant that he did a lot along with the Fed to respond to this crisis. But just look at the TARP, for example, the Troubled Asset Relief Program. I was reading the Inspector General's latest report in October. There are 54 civil and criminal investigations underway uh, into how the TARP funds were, were being uh, used for inappropriate purposes, uh, fraud and, and the like. And um, I worry that uh, because of the lack of transparency and the lack of accountability, uh, that the public has simply lost confidence. And we know when it comes to our economy, when it comes to our financial markets, confidence is a very important thing. So I think the better thing uh, would be for Mr. Bernanke to move on um, and to uh, have the president nominate somebody new. But it seems to me that the <coughs> Massachusetts election in many ways precipitated this. Before the Massachusetts election, the assumption was that Bernanke would be easily right. renominated. Now he's not. So if these problems that you're talking about happened a long time ago. Was this a sudden change of heart for you, or had you been thinking this all along? Well, I've been studying it. I've, I've wanted to make a responsible decision. This is a big decision uh, for me and uh, on behalf of my, uh, my state, the people I represent. But I certainly do uh, factor in what we saw happen in Massachusetts. I think it was a uh, backlash against, uh, you know, closed door secret deals and frankly the way the Fed has operated, the way the Treasury has operated in response to this financial crisis has not been a model of transparency and accountability. To the contrary, I think there's been a strong sense that a lot of the money has been mishandled. Money used for the TARP was then used to bail out the auto companies, then used for uh, uh, homeowners, used for, uh, for areas that uh, Congress never intended when we were asked to vote on the TARP. So I think there's a lot of uh, sense on the part of senators and members of Congress that we've been fooled once uh, and we're not going to be fooled again. And I think a fresh start with a new chairman would be, uh, would be very important.